Money comes and goes, but if you have the education about how money works, you gain power over it and can begin building wealth. There is a difference between being poor and being broke. Broke is temporary. Poor is eternal. People's lives are forever controlled by two emotions, fear and greed. Thinking that a job makes you secure is lying to yourself. Intelligence solves problems and produces money. You must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. An asset puts money in your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. Illiteracy, both in words and numbers, is the foundation of financial struggle. Money often makes obvious our tragic human flaws, putting a spotlight on what we don't know. Most people don't understand why they struggle financially because they don't understand cash flow. The problem with simply working harder is that each of these three levels takes a greater share of your increased efforts. You need to learn how to have your increased efforts benefit you and your family directly. The rich buy assets. The poor only have expenses. The middle class buy liabilities they think are assets. The rich focus on their asset columns while everyone else focuses on their income statements. The mistake in becoming what you study is that too many people forget to mind their own business. They spend their lives minding someone else's business and making that person rich. To become financially secure, a person needs to mind their own business. The primary reason the majority of the poor and middle class are fiscally conservative, which means, I can't afford to take risks, is that they have no financial foundation. Keep expenses low, reduce liabilities, and diligently build a base of solid assets. The best thing about money is that it works 24 hours a day and can work for generations. An important distinction is that rich people buy luxuries last, while the poor and middle class tends to buy luxuries first. If you work for money, you give the power to your employer. If money works for you, you keep the power and control it. We all have tremendous potential, and we all are blessed with gifts. Yet the one thing that holds all of us back is some degree of self-doubt. The single most powerful asset we all have is our mind. If it is trained well, it can create enormous wealth. The world is always handing you opportunities of a lifetime, every day of your life, but all too often we fail to see them. It is not gambling if you know what you're doing. It is gambling if you're just throwing money into a deal and praying. Education is more valuable than money, in the long run. The reason so many talented people are poor is because they focus on building a better hamburger and know little to nothing about business systems. To be truly rich, we need to be able to give as well as to receive. To be truly rich, we need to be able to give as well as to receive. For most people, the reason they don't win financially is because the pain of losing money is far greater than the joy of being rich. Whenever you find yourself avoiding something you know you should be doing, then the only thing to ask yourself is, what's in it for me? Be a little greedy. It's the best cure for laziness. There is gold everywhere. Most people are not trained to see it. Most people simply buy investments rather than first investing in learning about investing. The size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dream, and how you handle disappointment along the way. An intelligent person hires people who are more intelligent than he is. 
intelligence solves problems and produces money. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. Going into our fear and confronting our greed, our weaknesses, our neediness is the way out. And the way out is through the mind, by choosing our thoughts. Find the game where you can win, and then commit your life to playing it, and play to win. In today's fast-changing world, it's not so much what you know anymore that counts, because often what you know is old. It is how fast you learn. Thinking is the hardest work there is. That is why so few people engage in it. Life is much like going to the gym. The most painful part is deciding to go. Once you get past that, it's easy. Most people have a price. And they have a price because of human emotions named fear and greed. First, the fear of being without money motivates us to work hard, and then once we get that paycheck, greed or desire starts us thinking about all the wonderful things money can buy. A pattern is then set, get up, go to work, pay bills, get up, go to work, pay bills. Their lives are then run forever by two emotions, fear and greed. Offer them more money, and they continue the cycle by also increasing their spending. This is what I call the rat race. How can I afford it? Opened up the brain and forced it to think and search for answers. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. But have fun. Most people never win because they're more afraid of losing. One of the reasons the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the middle class struggles in debt is because the subject of money is taught at home, not in school. Most of us learn about money from our parents. So what can a poor parent tell their child about money? They simply say stay in school and study hard. The child may graduate with excellent grades but with a poor person's financial programming and mindset. It was learned while the child was young. Your mind is infinite, it's your doubts that are limiting. Great opportunities are not seen with your eyes. They are seen with your mind. Most people never get wealthy simply because they are not trained financially to recognize opportunities right in front of them. The main reason that over 90% of the American public struggles financially is because they play not to lose. They don't play to win. Thank you for being with us. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.